Hey guys, this is Takhauri. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we implemented the settings view for our application where the admin user can manage the application settings from the admin panel. We can edit the app settings file. We can modify any sections within the app settings file from the backend admin panel using the following site-wide settings form. If you haven't watched that video tutorial, I recommend you to watch the video tutorial if you want to know how to edit your app settings file from the ASP.NET Core Razor View. In this video tutorial, we will further implement the features in the admin panel. So, so now we would want to do uh, the testing for these following views that we have created. Now this is the final project, so all the views uh, will be working as expected. But we haven't tested these views in our local uh, application so let's go ahead and test it we tested the settings we have tried to modify the app settings file and it worked but we haven't tested the profile security and activity log view so let's go ahead and test that to make sure that everything works fine and if it does not then we will try to fix any errors that we find while debugging the uh, views so let's go back to the application So yeah, just uh, let's run the application locally in the browser. And when we run the application, when we go to the activity feed, here we will not find any activities for the user. While in the finished project, we are displaying the activities. When the user logs in, we display a message about what time and from which IP address the user logged in. And we need to implement that. So let's first fix the activity feed view. We'll go back to the authentication service because that's the service that we use for users to log them into their account so in the auth service we will have to use the activity service to display the activities or to add the activities to the activity db set using entity framework and then into the database so here inside the auth method just about the try block i'm going to create the activity object and i'm going to assign the values uh, using the cookie service for the user ip i'll get the user ip the user country and the operating system or the machine os for the user and the date time i will set them initially and then accordingly i will change the activity message at different stages of this method so here when we reach this step where we know that the user who's trying to log in is not an administrator or the role of the user is not an administrator role then we would log or create an activity for the actual administrator informing that informing them that somebody was trying to access their account so we can create an activity here and we could uh, add a message saying unauthorized login attempt this message is customizable so you could add your own uh, preferred message over here for the font awesome icon i'm using the user secret icon you can once again change it you can uh, find the classes for the font awesome icons on the font awesome icon.com and yes uh, so i will add the user id because i need to add it to the correct user uh, user's account so we will use the user id and that should be it and i've used the danger color which means in bootstrap this is uh, the color used for uh, identifying red or red color so we have used the danger class over here so that should be it for if the user is not an administrator and here at this point where the password does not match we will also add a entry to the activity table saying that the uh, login attempt failed because the password did not match so let's add one message over here so here i have added the activity uh, model i've modified it uh, based on the uh, scenario that is the password does not match so i have set uh, the message as login attempt fail because the password did not match so attempt to login will be uh, failed then i have added a activity 
at the stage where if the user's email is not confirmed so their login was successful but their email is not confirmed so we would not let them access the application until they have verified their email so i have added the activity at this point or this stage and finally if everything goes well and they are able to log into the account with the correct password and their account is verified then we will let them access their account and we will set a activity in the activity table for the login attempt being successful so now we have added some activities here inside the auth method so now we should have some entries created in the login table when the user tries to log in into the account accordingly you can add these activities by creating the activity model in any methods that you see in the auth service and you can use them to display uh, on the activity view so i'm not going to add more uh, activities inside any other methods so you basically know the logic now how to use them and how to add them so wherever you need it you can add them so let's uh, rebuild our application and then go and test it in the browser and make sure that when we log in activity records are created in our database so the application is loaded uh, we will go ahead and try to log in and see if the new activity record is created for the user. First, we will try to log in with an invalid password so that the login attempt fail entry is created and we can see that in the activity feed. So, let's hit login and we receive a message saying, Please check the login credentials or its invalid username or password was entered so which means that now an activity should be created for login attempt failed now let's log in with the correct password and hit login and now when we log in an activity for login attempt successful should be created so if we go to the activity log we have a login attempt successful activity created but we don't have any login attempt failed activity created so let's go ahead and debug this problem so if we go back to the account controller or the auth service here the login attempt fail right uh, there's one thing that i forgot to add over here and i need to do that since i am ending this call for this method i need to make sure that i add the activity or i make the call to add the activity before the return statement is executed because that will end this method call so let's do this add an act add activity method call over here since we are only seeing login attempt successful that's because the activity is being added but uh, we are not adding it at these stages so let me add this activity here for the failed attempt for the email confirmed and for the role not being an administrator now if i save this and try to run this application again at this point uh, we should see some activities in our activity table so the application is loaded let's go to the admin panel refresh this and now let's try to log out here we will try to do a failed attempt with invalid password the password uh, the login attempt was failed now let's try to log in with the correct password now we logged in successfully let's go to the activity table and here now the uh, attempt failed entry has been added to our database as you can see the danger class has been applied so the div is red in color we also have the icon changed based on the class used from font awesome we have added it over here so now we can also go to our database to the activity table and then try to execute or run the command and then we have all the activities displayed over here so we have three activities for the user with the user id as you can see in the user id column so we can also check the user id with the id starting or ending with 9 aef is basically if i go to user table 
it's the admin user and the activities that we just saw are for the ad admin user so that should be it uh, for the activity fix so now let's go and try to fix uh, any errors that we see in the security view we will try to change the user's password and see if we see any changes or we see any errors okay here on the security view the user should be able to change their password in order to change their password the user needs to provide their old password and then the new password and the new password needs to be confirmed once again so if the user adds an invalid old password then the password would not be changed so let's try to add a invalid password over here and then try to change the user's password so test that's test at one two three four and test at one two three four five now you will see that if the new password does not match the confirm new password then we get an error this error is generated by jquery validation the library that we have installed so in order for me to go past and submit this form go past these errors and submit the form i have to make sure i match the new password to the confirm new password so the new password is test at one two three four now the error is disappeared and now if i try to update with an invalid old password i should get a error response as expected now i've received a message which says invalid old password and this is an error that's being showing on my screen which is obvious because the user needs to provide a valid old password in order to change their password so let's try to change this password with a valid old password which is test at one two three and then hit update and now you can see that the password was changed we have received a confirmation from our server let's try to log out and try to log in with the old password just to make sure that the password is changed test at one two three now we get an invalid password which is once again obvious because we have changed our password a new password is test at one two three four so let's enter that hit login and now we are able to log in to our account with the new password if we go back to the activity log we should see the activities generated for invalid old password that was entered while trying to log in and we have the login attempt failed entry created as well so uh, we have successfully changed or implemented the logic for changing the user's password and displaying the activities related to change password on the uh, activity log now let's go and try to fix the profile view so here in this uh, profile form i have updated the values that need to be updated for the user or for the admin user and i'm going to go ahead and submit this form uh, since i have not yet accepted the terms accepted checkbox i cannot submit this form this form is being invalidated and in order to validate this form we need to check off these terms accepted checkbox once we check off this box we can go ahead and save the changes and then we would be asked to enter our password by sweet alert pop-up we will enter the correct password and the correct password is test that one two three four remember we had changed the password so now let's go ahead and update the user profile so the user profile is updated we have received a confirmation from our server and that's being displayed on the sweet alert pop-up now if we go ahead uh, and see that the name of the user is changed and also we see the changes on the form if we refresh this page we will still see the retained changes that's because the uh, profile is now updated now if you look at the top right the user profile image is not being displayed let's go ahead and fix that issue so that we can see the profile image of the user over there in the top right corner so the top bar uh, which holds the 
user profile name and the profile image is part of the shared layout inside the admin area shared folder for the views and we use this layout to display the top bar in order to show the user related details like profile pic or the uh, username we would need to inject the admin base view model and call the profile model which is inside the admin base view model or part of the admin base view model and then we can uh, uh, use the appropriate properties like first name last name and the user's profile pic in order to show this information on the top navigation bar so that the information is displayed so if we save this information and now go back and refresh the page we should see the user information loaded so if i refresh it over here i should see the profile pic and the username being displayed so as you can see that the information is being displayed and if i inspect this information you should see that the eraser property is being converted to the actual value of the property and we have embedded these eraser properties inside the uh, razor view so now this particular source is gets converted to the value of profile pic and here in the browser we can see that so now uh, friends this should be it for this video tutorial where we have fixed the profile security and activity log view along with the top bar which will now show the user's profile image and the act and the user's user name as well so uh, all the code will be available in the devs of devops repo you can download it and if you have any questions use the comment section if there are any files missing please use the comment section and specify the files name we will update it do not forget to like and subscribe our channel it takes hours to make these videos and if you can only give us a like that would be grateful thank you